Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we are carrying on with Gladius, with our Astra Militarum. And uh, we're blasting this uh, church into... Do churches go to heaven? Yeah, sure, why not? We're blasting this church back to heaven. So, pew pew pew. Artillery, artillery, artillery. That's the noise that artillery makes. Uh, so this guy's a bit of a problem, isn't he? Maybe I should focus on this guy a bit. I feel like if he attacks us, it's still going to do a lot of damage, regardless of, like, you know, what we think about him. Oh, we can take him out there. Though I kind of want to take them out, too. Maybe the Lehman Rustus has to kind of take the hit. Now, nah, let's pull back. I'm a little worried about the Iron Fist of Stygia here. You are, you're nowhere near. I really thought you could move there. Apparently not. Okay, shoot him instead. That's fine. That's fine. I really didn't want him to move all the way anyway. No. All right, let's finish him off. There we go. Uh, you can keep shooting there. Is that everybody? I think it's everybody down here. I mean, we're doing good work here. Stern's port is getting pretty knackered. Lord of Scales appeared. Sure did. He sure did. All right, let's keep blasting. I think we're probably going to lose this scout in a second. But I'm going to shoot this guy anyway. All right, come on, fellas. What's nice is that at two range... Um, not all of the guns can attack, but of course you can't split up your targets. You kind of some guns shoot one thing, some guns shoot another. You have to pick the one target. So if they aim for the Scout Sentinel, they're wasting a bunch of damage potential, which is really good, because that means they're doing less damage, potentially. So, right, what else we got going on? Uh, Cult Mechanicus doing its thing. Labor Corps, I mean, we are building that Sanctum Imperialis, hopefully. That will sort out our loyalty, because we are losing 28% of our resources right now, which is pretty damn significant, you know? That's a lot. So we do need to worry about that. I think I think this is actually going to change things considerably once we get that built. I think building one of these is much more powerful in terms of resource generation than building one of any of the other resource generation buildings. I think that will just be better. So, you know, we're going to try that. Also, I guess build more food, because we are going to need that, actually. Awkward. So is this going to put up, um... Zero per turn? Oh, because population is maxed. Crap. I didn't even notice. Okay, I guess we're building another hab block over there. Yeah, we really need to get the uh, loyalty buildings built. My word. Alright, you guys stay where you are. And... Let's build the Cotitator Station. Nice. And then something else. I don't know. We'll, we'll start building um, here. Cool. So, enemies, what are you going to do? Carry on shooting my scouts. They can't quite kill it. Which is nice to see. Oh. Alright. Hydra's doing okay. Oh, wow. Okay, a lot of Tyrannocytes. Presumably there's nothing in them. God, they are really cool. I mean, they really do look like the drop pods, which I find really fun. The idea they just went, oh, you know, you know the drop pods? Yeah, what if that, but flesh? <laughs> yeah, that's not weird. That's not weird, G-dubs. No, not, not weird at all. You're, you're a normal person. Not a person, it's a corporation. Anyway, um... You sit there. You sit there. Uh... Yeah, alright, we're going all in. On these jokers. Alright, can you move here? And I should have moved them up. I keep meaning to move them up. Although you'd have to move around. But still, we need to move them all around so this guy can buff them all. You know? Although this does come back in three turns, so actually... Uh, screw it. We'll do that now. And you guys can do some additional damage. Thanks. Uh, that Dental Dog's actually taking quite a bit of damage now. I should probably be more cognizant of that, to be honest. Um, let's do the smoke screen as well. And then we'll shoot. Cool. So that should help. Right, you guys get down here. I need you to repair the Devil Dog if we can destroy Stern's port. Which hopefully we will. Hopefully we will. You know? Fingers crossed. Uh, that only helps infantry, doesn't it? Yeah. Alright, you may as well come up here. There's nothing to do down here anymore. Oh, you can start shooting these guys. And... 
I guess you should probably just stand out and start shooting these guys again, huh? But I do want to keep them off here, because I want to destroy this city. Okay, what's it? 25 population. That's what ours is on. Well, that won't do. That won't do one bit. Yeah, we definitely need to get a um, another hat block here. I want to keep growing this. We haven't actually taken that many um, tiles yet, either, surprisingly. We only need 19 population to have all of our buildings occupied. Like, we really need to build stuff quicker. So yeah, building the building, building, building was definitely a good building to build. Okay, you guys are all good. And yeah, we're, we're fine. Or are we? We're fine. Okay, we're about to finish a quest. Alright, they did finish it off. It rounded up the damage, cheeky. Or it rounded up the health I had left. It's also likely. That took some damage. Seems Tyranid's still fighting. Additional heavy bolters, finally. And uh, a place fit for a priest. Sorry, a palace, not a place. I was going to say that's a bit of a weird thing to say. Sure. A palace fit for a priest. Uh, I mean, still a bit weird. The cogitated station stands tall above the plain, proclamating the Emperor's might to any who might oppose it. Deep inside, the tech priest is building his laboratory. Okay. Now we get even more influence, so... Yeah, we are getting a fair bit of influence now. Um... I actually want to go back to that research. Can I see... Because I didn't read... The thingy. You know, the thingy. Can I can I get tech back? It's not trades. It's not tips. I mean, I I don't know. Can I can I read my? Do I hit OK? I wanted to go back to it, but I realise you can't. Alright, well, whatever. We have extra heavy bolters now, and they are actually on all the vehicles. You can see the sponsons on the sides of our Lehman Russes, which is very nice. And, uh, I don't know, did Devil Dog get one? Oh my god, I was like, what the heck is on our Devil Dog? It's because the <laughs> Shrine of God is stuck through it. I was like, what is going on? Many things, apparently. But yeah, the extra sponsons are really going to help get some damage into this thing. It's really good really good, but uh, there's a lot of stuff around here that I'm a little scared about. So we found some small mines. Small mines have been known to drift for days, just waiting for an unwary foe to come near before detonating with brutal effect. Ugh. Horrible. Horrible. But yeah, they just float around silently, so one can just sort of, like, fly up behind you and then explode and drown you in acid. It's pretty, pretty horrendous. So, we have that built. Uh, do I need more food? You know what? I think actually just more more loyalty. Again, just go more loyalty. And then up here, uh, we're clearing another tile. Good. Okay, let's get you down here. Ow, you already are doing that. Uh, are you going to live? All right, Devil Dog will survive apparently. But <laughs> it's not looking great, is it? Okay, let's move here. Oh, hi. I found some more friends. I <laughs> found some more friends. Alright, let's shoot them. So, yeah, there's definitely a lot of, of our enemies have run north. But, honestly, one more volley, and I think we could do considerable damage to that. I, I, I think we can have it if we just do nothing but focus on it. I don't think they can kill us quick enough. And that 22 is a huge amount of the population will be destroyed, you know? That is significant, for sure. And we can finish them off. It's the heavy bolters. Just helps so much. Like, that's an extra uh, 12 damage. Nope. More than that. Hang on. I was looking at the wrong numbers there. That's an extra 12 attacks. Sorry. That's an extra 6 attacks. I don't know why I was multiplying that twice. Because I was thinking both sponsons, but that is talking about both sponsons. So anyway, whatever. It's, it's 6 attacks. 
at three damage each. Well, 2.9, but still, that's fantastic. Uh, you stay there, that's fine. You stay there. You stay there. You stay there. And you're looking great. Handsome, even. Good. And you are also fine. Sort of. I can need another half block there, aren't I? Yeah. Okay, uh, do 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 do. Because there's no point not getting more half block. If we are going to get loyalty really under wraps, then we can just go all in just building. Maybe another building, building, building. And then we can just go mental with, um, you know, all the Rogue Dawn. Yes, please. Uh, we can go mental with all the, like, resource buildings, you know? Because we just have so much population spare to throw at things. May as well keep that going. Okay, a lot of them coming in. Uh, we've almost got it. We've almost got it. But we are about to kind of uncover, I guess is the word, a ludicrous amount of Tyranids back here, I think. Uh, also, through the storm, ensconced in the subterranean workshops of the Cogitator Station, the Tech Priest has rapidly built a small army of servitors and Skatari, apparently to study the planet. The Estra Militarum guarding the city have been reporting strange experiments and are uneasy in his presence. But then the cult of the Machine God has always been somewhat otherworldly. Um, upon emerging from his workshops, he reports that the key to the warp storm seems to be the unusual artifacts that are sometimes uncovered on the surface of the planet. He insists we bring any we find to him, but many are in the hands of Xenos. We will have to search, beg, barter, or steal it from them. Each artifact is unique and highly sought after. One of them may be the key to uh, calming the warp storms. If it is, we must find it. Recover artifacts. We have done three of three, apparently. How have we done three of three already? How does What does recovering artifacts mean? Is that just have three, like, shards of wool or something? Oh, no! It's artifacts as in the the, the artifacts that you, you claim and it gives you bonuses. Those artifacts is what it's talking about. I assumed it'd be, like, a bespoke thing you put on the map. I'll have, like, oh, go over here. And there's a unit there or whatever, and you get it. Something. But no, no, it means specifically the artifact. We have found three unusual devices that fit the Tech Priest's description. Now we must search them. Gave us a bunch of research, which means our Rogal Dawn is nearly done, huh? Oh my god, we're so nearly there. A tank commander can just finish it. And... No more sisters. Alright, take that, Rian. They fought with insane faith and fervor, driven on by a living saint. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to click on that. I was just seeing the... Uh the horrible nightmares that were hiding behind the city. So they fought with insane faith and fervor, driven on by a living saint, against men striving to live and fearing the commissar at their back and the artillery overhead. They had bolters and power armor and their god's blessing, whilst you have louse guns, flak jackets, and the contempt of your peers. Yet when the dust cleared, it was the Astra Militarum who still stood. Very cool. Very, very cool. Let's start blasting. Probably don't need all of them to go south, actually. Yep, we'll finish that one off. Should have moved him, really. Uh, and you too. Sure. You can all give it a go. Everybody gets a turn. Big, big damage. And almost no damage. Bigger damage. Okay, good. This is looking good. Oh, come on. Please die. And this 22 is huge. I mean, wiped out a faction down here, obviously, but just, like, getting rid of that is going to be pretty crippling, I think, for the Tyranids that are already not doing great. Uh, we have more Tech Priests, uh, which I was going to build a city up here with, which I might still do. I think I will. I don't see why not. Uh, you stay where you are. Yeah, you guys too. And now... Can't afford a building, building, building. That's sad. Let's get more ore. Cool. I know, we're still slightly low on power. It's fine. 
it's a trickle. You know, we have 85 turns to react to it, which I think is plenty. Only 17 health left. Like, we can destroy that before help arrives. The Rogaldorn Battle Tank. For the first time in Gladius. Oh, good times. The Rogaldorn Battle Tank is a lumbering behemoth, equally suited to anchoring a battle line or grinding forward in support of an assault. Bristling with thunderous guns, these hulking armoured fighting vehicles pound breaches in enemy defences with enormous shells and tear apart infantry with the raucous storms of fire. These things have a lot of guns. In fact, there's... Oh, smoke launchers, I think that is. Heavy bolter, heavy bolter, castigator, gatling cannon, auto cannon, and depressor cannon. Yeah, it's a lot of very tasty, tasty guns. A lot of guns. Very cool. Costs a bit, though. Crap. And hunt killer missile and gun it as well. Hold the line. What did I do? I don't know. Either way, chapter five now. Chapters have really just, like, peeled away, huh? Meeting the tech priest has become difficult. The soldiers around his chambers seem less to be guarding him than guarding the city against him. You meet in something like no man's land inside the cotitator station to transfer the artifact, surrounded by armed troops and his newly repaired Castellan robots. The tech priest's cybernetic eyes glitter red as you silently hand over the strange equipment. As he turns to go, you catch his sleeve and the soldiers all freeze. How soon can we expect results, you ask? His vocoder hisses static and spits, soon. Before he stalks away, you leave, troubled. Soon enough, you experience the results. Alarms ring throughout the city, of all things to face, enslavers. Warp-born horrors man has only heard of in folk tales are assaulting the city, and the tech priest has vanished. Survive the attack, we will deal with him soon enough. Oh no. Where are the enslavers? <gasps> There's one. Well, that's a pickle. Um, <laughs> is that the only one? <laughs> I don't see any others. All right, let's go sort him out. I think we have enough guardsmen that uh, if one gets taken, it won't matter. You know? Because they'll be able to just pile in and just kill the enslaver. I'm sure there are more around here somewhere, but... Okay, so I want to pull that one back. So we'll try and kill it with them, and you can move back. So there we go. That is a large city taken care of. Not actually that large, but like large-ish. Uh, this one I think is quite big too. This might be their capital. That might have just been like another one. Which is a little scary. Okay, I can get you over there. Let's, let's move you that way. Move the tank commander. You can move over here. Whoops. Didn't mean to move you into the wireweed, but that's fine. <laughs> It'll be fine. Ah, yep. Found some enemies. Hello. Let's just start shooting. With wild abandon. Okay, good. And you... I don't know, can you finish them off? Probably. Okay, you guys looking fine. Need to do that heal. There we go. Uh, we just got a blood blessing for our attack priest engine seers. Good. Good for you. Good for you. Uh, okay, you stay, you stay where you are. You stay where you are. And... I really want a, a Rogal Dawn. It's going to be some time before we can get a Rogal Dawn going to be a minute. So yeah, are there any more slavers? I mean, it says survive invasion and kill all invaders. Zero of one. So I think that might be all there is, which is weird. Unless one just means yes and zero means no. I have no idea. Oh well. Okay, see, so yeah, everything's building. We're fine. Choose research. I mean, smoke launchers would be quite useful. Uh, bolt weapons get extra armor penetration. That's pretty cool. Because that means our... Uh, well, the Rogal Dawn and, or other tanks that got the heavy bolters, that will provide better armor penetration as well. I mean, Bane Blade would be good too. I love the fact that it's extra las cannons. That's terrifying for the Bane Blade. Pretty cool. Um... Increased tile acquisition radius. I feel like that's already quite big. Already fairly large. 
all the stuff takes like one turn. Should we just get a bunch of stuff? And just get a bunch of the cheaper stuff so we can learn about it. It'll be fun. I like hearing about, you know, all the various bits and bobs. Alright, build another city. That's fine. That's not going to be too much of a challenge. So, the Chimera. The Chimera is the most prolific and popular armor transport used by the Imperial Guard. It is a rugged, versatile, and easy to produce in huge numbers. For thousands of years, it has been accepted wisdom that the Chimera punches well above its weight in a firefight. The tank itself mounts a variety of punishing anti-personnel weaponry, while passengers can lay down additional fire from its spacious top hatch and hit the <sighs> flag-mounted lasgun arrays. Sorry guys, I'm a bit sleepy. Uh, let's grab that. I don't think there's anything more down here. Except him. Hi. Hi, fella. Um, you can get another heal on them. He can move up. Good. Uh, oh, do you have extra bolters on you as well now? Oh no, you always had a heavy bolter. That's fine. Uh, so that thing's still alive. For now. There we go, finish it off. Artillery is so useful, it really is. It's just insanely useful. Uh, well, that won't kill the Malanthrope, but that will. Okay, we can finish them off too. Alright, let's grab that. Wow, well, yeah, we are just going to start tearing through these guys. I feel like they don't have anything that sturdy. Like, it's all just thropey things, you know? All just thropey things. Alright, start blasting this. We're doing 10 damage a hit, so 6 attacks, and it's dead. Um, I mean, we got so much artillery that we can bring to bear on it as well. Which is going to help, certainly. Um, oh yeah, you can continue to move up too. Cool. You stay where you are. That's gone up a bit. That's okay. And then over here... Well, we need to find that little sod again, don't we? So where is he? Found him. Oh, you moved already? Okay, fine. Uh, your morale went down. It's like in the worst possible place. <laughs> uh, good, we can kill one. Good. So that'll work out, I think. I think we'll be able to kill it. Even if it does take over the Tempesta Science, we have others, and just we can just... Yeah, we have a horde. It's fine. And they all have grenades, so... Pretty happy. Uh, Lehman Russ still can't get the Rogel Dawn, uh, so I'm going to continue to spend loads of my resources. Nice. Hooray for me. Uh, oh, crap. We need more population first. Damn, I meant to do that sooner. Alright, how about you? You can get more ore, that's fine. Although I guess we should put the hat block up here too. Probably should. It's a shame. But hey, we're building stuff nice and quickly. Let's get some rattlings. Rattlings are cool. I don't think this is really going to do the job, is it? No. Okay, good. Good. Very good, actually. We slaughtered them. Oh. There are more of them. And they just killed my tech priest. That's frustrating. That is incredibly frustrating. I keep getting my tech priest caught out. I mean, I know they were just running around in the middle of nowhere, but like, you don't expect enemies to be in the middle of nowhere either. So it's sniping every unit that can move after shooting. Though less resilient than their human comrades, Rattlings are naturally excellent shots. It is said that Rattling marksmen can take the head off a heretic from over a kilometre away. Coupled with their knack for staying out of harm's way, this makes Rattlings formidable snipers who can take a surprising toll on, uh, upon superior enemy forces. So, yep, sniper rifles. What more is there to say? They shoot things. It's good. Good anti-infantry stuff. No armour piercing, no. See, that's gutting. So we found some, uh, we discovered some Tempesta Scions. <laughs> Militarum Tempesta Scions are often viewed with fear or resentment by the regular troops, nicknamed such as Glory Boys, etc, etc. Uh, you've got some way to go, don't you? Ah, uh, here we go. Alright. 
Start throwing grenades. Uh, all right, crack grenades are the best, apparently. Oh, it's because there's fewer in number now. That's why. Yeah, we should be able to deal with them next turn. So that's good. Shame there's the other one as well. So yeah, zero means um, haven't killed the invader. There's another one there too. That's so annoying. So yeah, zero and one is uh, yes or no. That's all that means. Have you defeated the, the invasion? Yes or no? And currently the answer is no. Honestly, like a whole thing of enslavers is oh, very annoying. Wait, is that going to do it? No. We need someone else to do it. Okay, you can reach. Good, because you need to get away from all that noise. And let the tanks do their thing. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I'll attack these guys. Maybe I'll stay on the city. I can stay on the city. Okay, let's just move over here. So let's try and clear this out. Uh, oh, right, I cracked missiles. Okay. So let's... And those zone throats aren't looking great. Uh, oh, it's a Tyranny Prime. Didn't even realize. All right. That's cool. Um, how am I going to deal with this guy now? I mean, I guess I could send these two to Pastor Scions to deal with him, right? Okay, so half block in two turns. Uh, half block in two turns. Cool. Uh, Lord Commissar. Probably shouldn't run even closer to there. He'll probably get murdered. So that's a pain. Uh, let's move you up. Let's move you up. And uh, let's move you up. Okay, you can't reach that, but you can reach them. Cool. Not bad. Uh, you stay there, you stay there. And that will have to do. So, more research. Let's do the Voxcaster. Moving on. Well, they just died to the Wireweed. Brilliant. They're running away, but towards the Tempestus Scions that just got the kill. Which means these Tempestus Scions have just got their wits about them. Just in time to see what horrible, like horror, they just wrought upon their own men. And notice how it's the Tempestus Scions who are shooting the, the standard guardsmen. You know, as if things weren't already tense between them. So Voxcaster is a reliable communications array uh, connected to the tactical command net via tight beam transmitters. At least that's what I call it. Alright, let's get over here. Are you really not going to finish them off? Come on now. Always have to leave it to the artillery for the precision strikes. Not really what they're for, is it? Not really their bag. I don't know why I didn't move him up first. That would have been the smart thing to do. Also, healing him first would have been good. Alright, Tank Commander, finally up here fighting Tyranids, as he should be. Maybe I'll finish them up. Uh, Commissar can go over there. Alright, you guys are done. Uh, let's move you guys up here. And I guess you guys can go too. You need to go back that way, though. So I have no idea what folks are doing on the other side of the map. Like, the Necrons and the Eldar are both still going. Is it just them at war with each other, or is there someone else that we're forgetting? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if anyone else still lives. Uh, if they do, they're sandwiched between the Eldar and the Necrons, so... You know, good luck, I suppose. Um, so I haven't got the hat block yet. So that's fine. I haven't got the hat block yet. Fine. Right to the Machine Spirits. Uh, puts up Manufactorum building speed, which is good. And we are getting quite a lot of ore now. I definitely want that, like, to be plus 100 or something, you know. Oh, good. That's very good. 
That's not so good. Okay, not bad, not bad. We're alright, we're alright. Like, have we just been really lucky on tech? I feel like we're kind of ahead of all of our enemies in terms of the tech race. But it's hard to tell. It's hard to sort of compare, you know, humans and tyranids, but oh well. Uh, Edict, Adeptus Mechanicus. To all manufactured Magi, production quotas for this period are raised. Personal, uh, personal projects must be put on hold during this time. Additional resources slash unguents will be provided for performance of the machine rides. Praise the Omnisire. Okay, let's grab that. You can head back up here, where we'll start shooting, I guess, the Tyranid Prime. Cool. Let's move you up. You're going to get over here and actually heal the Devil Dog, which is then going to move up as well. And, okay, can't get in range of any of that stuff. That's a shame. But, I'm certainly going to try. Okay, Tank Commander is in the house. Let's buff his weaponry. I don't think we even need to, frankly. I'm definitely going to kill those spore mines. And you're going to move here and start blasting, I guess, these venom thropes. You're going to move up and, I suppose, do the same. Um, we're just going to take some random pot shots with all our ludicrous amounts of artillery, right? Sounds good to me. Uh, Alright, you can handle them. You can't reach anyone. See, there's nothing alive for you to reach. That's disappointing. Alright, let's finish them off. Do some extra damage to them. Oh, you can move up as well. Nice. Okay, good. Very good. And so is this. I can get some good damage into here. You can move up and shoot. So, shoot away. And then you can move up and throw a grenade. And then probably get mind controlled, but then I can just move in and, you know, hit him with more things. So, the frag grenades can do 24 damage. Alright, let's do it. I suppose you can reach. Nah. Rogal Dawn. But if I do that, I won't be able to afford anything else. And it takes too long to build there. I definitely want to build it over here, if I was going to build it anywhere. Uh, that... Mm, more food would be nice. Um, so from features and from population, growth goes up quicker. Okay, food doesn't factor in. This isn't civilization. Okay, fine. Let's get... Something. Hmm... So food will go down the higher population we have, but we have plus 11 right now, so we can afford to just build some other stuff, I'd say. Alright, we're going with ore. Just build a bunch of ore. And over here, build a Rogal Dawn tank. It's going to take four turns. That's pretty wild. Let's actually build another Manufactorum. I know, more resources would be great, but I want to be able to build that really, really, really quickly. Okay, I want to churn out Rogal Dawns. Oh, what are you doing? Leveling up. That's what you're doing. Okay, higher movement for you. You can sit tight, you can sit tight. And you're looking great. Cool. More research. Uh, Argonomic Surge. Cool. Done. Okay, I think this one, I think this Tyranid Prime keeps eating some of the other Tyranids. Oh, more enslavers there. That's a problem. Oh, maybe not, actually. Maybe not. Looks like our city is going to deal with it. There's more up there? Okay, there's a lot of enslavers, apparently. That's a problem. So, Argonomic Surge. Edict. Departmento unit, uh, Unitorum. To all Imperial subjects, personal rations are reduced with immediate effect. Arbitrators have been dispatched to farms, granaries, and storehouses to ensure compliance. Oh, good. Uh, no new units. Right, let's move here. And finish them off. Good. And now you can continue to shoot that. Lovely. Lovely stuff. Okay, you grab that. And... Why aren't I seeing more enemies, huh? 
Why aren't I seeing more enemies? Let's give you a bunch more movement speed. Nice. We have found it. Excellent. Alright, you can hit it from here. Amazing. Uh, 27 population, this one. That is a big old population. But we do have just a shocking, shocking amount of artillery on its way. I say that. Five. I mean, five is fairly shocking, right? I guess I haven't really just looked it all in a row before. It's not as impressive as I had envisioned somehow. Um, you can also move up slightly, huh? Oh, hello. Hi. Hi, Malanthrope. I don't think I'm going to shoot you. Although, maybe one of my tanks is. No, apparently not. Alright, that's going to do some terrible things to our bones. That's fine. Uh, you can start moving up there as well. Uh, Commissar, sit tight. Alright. Rogal Dawn time. Nice. And for you, get more tiles. We need more tiles. Alright, grab that one. Choose research, awaken the machine. Moving on. Oh, nope, he's off. And they are going to take some pot shots, I think. Ooh, and so are they. Yeah, a malanthrope having a bad day. <laughs> they're taking a lot of punishment. And yeah, they're not all turned around yet. The Lehman Russ is going to finish them off. The fact they just try and sneak out with one unit it immediately gets wiped out is pretty great for us. And... Okay, they're just attacking us. That's fine. That's fine. I'll take it. Well. Awaken the machine. With push of button, fire the engine and spark turbine into life. Toll the great bell thrice. Sing praise to the, to the god of all machines. Catechism of the Autoculus of Mars. Yep, those are normal words. Uh, we can do 12 damage. Let us do 12 damage. Okay, we can do 11 damage or 17. Let's kill it. Brilliant. Alright, now we need to head up to that last one. I mean, they're going down pretty quick. Like, we're handling it. We're handling it. And we've got a bunch more resources down here as well. You know, more research. Uh, a bunch more influence from all these, you know, all of these altars of corn, which doesn't seem particularly so. Oh, you haven't shot yet? Neither of you. Oh, none of you have. Because this is a new turn. Silly. Okay, Lehman Ross battle tank. Let's move you up here. So you can start shooting. We're not getting the benefit of the... Um, uh, heavy bolters? I don't think that matters. I don't think that entirely matters. Let's move there for now. I want to make sure I get my tech priest. I could have healed. I could have healed it then. Fine. Okay, let's keep doing that. Tyrannothelium. Interesting. Interesting name. Okay, let's shoot with them. Let's shoot with them them and I don't know you just stand there I guess we are stat like stood on wire weed which I don't think is particularly great for us but that's okay you keep shooting you'll find there you are probably not fine there that's where they went huh are there more I don't know I'm not actually sure there's some more there where did they come from did they float in from over here they must have done oh that sucks God, there's a lot of them, huh? We shouldn't tell me how many. Like, it'd be really nice if it just said how many. I mean, it is an invasion of them, but still. What a hassle. Okay. You sit tight. I think all of these guys should ditch. Alright, they're all ditching this area. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, now you... should go ahead and get more ore. Good. Imperial Bastion, please. You know what? I've changed my mind about the ore. We actually do need a lot more power. Does it end the turn? And what the enemy got for us now? Well, they are hitting me, but not for a huge amount. Oh, good. Okay, we're getting some shots into these enslavers. 
Uh, is that a... That is a Prime. Prime. <gasps> they killed our Hydra. Oh, we had that Hydra for ages. Oh, that's a pity. I don't know where all these guys suddenly came from. I feel like they suddenly just, like, spat out a bunch of units. We'll spend a turn just killing all of their units, and then we'll go back to shooting the city, I think. Um, so, an Imperial Bastion is an imposing edifice built from foot-thick ferrocrete and the remains of faithful servants of the Imperium. Yeah, we've been through this one before. As they are relatively easy to construct, some planets boast networks of bastions that span entire continents. Quite impressive. So... Uh, let's start blasting, I suppose. Alright, crack missiles are the best thing we've got here for them, for that guy. So that's fine. Now I'm going to move here and take some more shots on that prime. Uh, wow, you have to go around that way, huh? Oh, and you can only stand in that. That's a pain. Alright, you know what? Let's let's just get in here. Okay, let's just get in here, start blasting. Uh yeah, let's just go all in there. God, we can barely do anything to that prime. Oh, didn't really want to stand in there, but I am now, so I guess that's that. Uh yeah, that prime is not gonna go down easily, is he? Wondering if we can kill anything else with all our artillery. Then we can focus on that with all of our um, Lehman Russes instead. I think we can probably kill something else. Are we going to kill those Zoanthropes? Is that worthwhile? Probably not. I'm going to give it a go though. Might as well. Might as well. Yeah, that Prime's scary. Alright. And you. That's a bit weak. Should have really gone for that guy. I don't know. Well, you guys can start shooting him. Uh, you do have frag grenades, at least. Which is good. Those grenades are very good. Alright, start blasting. Let's get you in as well. And that should wipe them out. Oh, we've got, we've got another unit here that's actually very injured. Huh. Good. Probably because it's on the it was on the right missiles, maybe. I don't know. Perhaps. How did Commissar get mind controlled? I'd imagine so, right? I think everything can. So there was one here, right? I didn't imagine it. Like that's not them that flew off up that way. Somehow. I don't know. I have no idea. Okay, let's grab... Uh, yeah, we have three more population than we have buildings. <laughs> That's crazy. Alright, and then more energy again. Cool. Getting a Rogal Dawn. Okay, maybe I will not queue up a million things. So, oh, we need to clear a time. Of course we do. Okay, let's grab that. And then let's queue up a million things. Uh, done. Choose research. Breeding licenses. Edict that puts off the growth rate. Sure. I really do feel like we should have more cities. But we're also getting a resource building like every couple of turns at the moment, so I feel like we're kind of full steam ahead right now. Uh, next point to my weaknesses. How, how rude. Oh, there they are. Ooh, yeah, okay, the Iron Fist of Stygia are probably having a... They have a lot of regrets, let's just say that. That's at 13 now. Yeah, that's growing big and strong while we're dealing with all the other... the other cysts. Oh yeah, this is much better. Yeah, we can, we can deal with them pretty easily. Uh, we have to run you back, though. So, let's step you in. Uh, that's a, hmm. that's a shame. That might take a fair bit of damage from there. Okay, we can deal with those venom throats. I can hit that Norn cyst again. I want to keep the pressure on. And you can finish that off. While I repair things. 
Uh, also, these five should be able to get rid of this Tyrannicide. Which sounds moderately clever. Getting rid of a Venom Throat or two might be good too, though. But I think that's all I'm going to do on them. And then we'll make sure this gets killed. There we go. Uh, Commissar. I suppose I'll rush up this way. And here's the Rogal Dawn. Hell yeah, look at that. Oh, that's tasty. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. Quite slow, though. That's quite slow. I can't wait for it to get taken over by an enslaver. That'll be fun. You guys looking forward to it? I am. In a manner of speaking. Right, let's just move you back there so we can move the Tempesta Scions in properly. Let's get some decent shots. I think after they've shot, that isn't quite good. Oh, they can. Good. Love those guardsmen do it. Even more enslavers on the way. Okay, let's pull you guys back this way. It looks like they're all headed over here anyway. So I think we'll deal with all the enslavers before, um, before we have to worry. So, that's good. Uh, start ordering cities again. Uh, you are once again out of buildings. Uh, let's get energy. Let's get energy. Good. That's that then. Now let's also, because we have a lot of influence again, we'll put up our ore production in both, but it's up to 44 per turn, which is very significant. That's going to help a lot. Okay, still blasting away at our tanks. Fairly ineffectually, honestly. Um, not much damage from them either. Yeah, nothing they're doing is doing much damage. Though, I am a little worried. Nope, Devil Dog's fine. Yeah, nothing can really hurt our tanks. Our tanks are too heavily armoured for everything they have remaining. So, Edict. Departmento Munit uh, Munitorum. To all registered insular keepers, for the period of this edict, uh, connubial encounters are encouraged. Very diplomatic language. Also, to all imperial storehouse overseers for the period of this edict, aphrodisiac dosages are to be eliminated from both the food and water supply. Interesting. So. Let's move you forwards again. Yeah, let's finish these zoanthropes off. And more healing, please. And you just need to run the heck away. Okay. Now what? Do you want to keep blasting that Nornsist or kill the things around it? Oh, you can finish them off. Good. Now let's just start blasting at the city. I need to keep the pressure on the city so I can't recover from, from the devastation. I need to keep having those debuffs. God, you are slow, aren't you, Rogal Dawn Battle Tank? How are you going to get up here before everything's dead? I mean, seriously. I wonder. Uh, there are two more enslavers up here. That's insane. Okay, let's move you up here. Let's move you here. Uh, let's move you back to here. I'm going to put you in the middle. Alright, you heal. You heal. And you heal. Move you there, move you there, move you there. I guess we'll move to there and to, to there, but I can't order them yet. Um, you just hold position. I'm actually just going to tell you to hold position. I don't need to keep checking. Everything's fine up there. I think we're probably fine. Okay, now you... Yeah, you're fine too. You just keep keep doing what you're doing. Uh, oh, it's going to take two turns. Two turns to get an upgrade now. Maybe I should just move further this way. That's for Scout, Sentinels, and Bullgrims. Really? That's a weird couple of things to get that bonus. Uh, ground uh, vehicles get Witch Fire damage reduction, which is nice. You know, the Kraken Bolts are pretty great. Smoke Launch is pretty great. Yeah, alright, we're going to push forward a bit. We're going to get Smoke Launches. I think that'll be useful for a lot of our tanks. Certainly when we start, you know, fighting the Necrons and the um, uh, uh, Eldar again. There's a third. Wow. 
There is a ludicrous amount of these guys. They just keep pouring out, huh? It's kind of cool, though, having to juggle this while we're off doing a war elsewhere, you know? Alright, let's move you forwards. You can kill one. It's not bad. Not bad. Okay, start blasting. I think between these three units we can get rid of this one. Hopefully. Ooh, actually. Maybe, not quite. I think I might need it all three. Oh god, and them too. I think we're gonna lose. Because if all the all three of these are still going next turn, we could lose three of our units in a single turn. That is scary. Alright, let's start getting some more then. <laughs> oh, that's gonna take ages. God, that's terrible. You know, screw that. Oh, I'll get I'll get a couple queued. I'll get a couple queued, alright, then I'll do something about it. Uh, do we want to get artillery over there? I feel like the cities themselves can just kill everything there anyway. Because they are a invasion, so they are actually going to be attacking us. Um, we'll leave them. We'll let them live. Move up all of our artillery. You can move up here too. Excellent. Alright, you guys can all shoot, then we'll end the episode, because I didn't realise what the time was, but we're well over time again. So that's nice. You guys got a little little bonus episode out of me. Or some bonus episode, I suppose. Alright. Almost destroyed this. Next turn, this is definitely going down. Which feels pretty good, huh? You know what, we're still shooting. Anyone else? You've not shot yet. Okay, a little, little bit longer, right? We good? Okay, I think everyone's good. Alright, they're all done. So yeah, next turn, this is definitely getting blown up. So guys, if you enjoyed this, comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Whoever our foe, we will reclaim this world and its ancient riches, or we will die trying.